Good afternoon, everyone. Today we'll take up a new lesson. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Unit three: Understanding science. Have you seen this before? Do you know how to say it in English? It's total solar eclipse. Let's get closer look of the process. Watch closely. This is diamond ring. What would you say this? The diamond ring. This total solar eclipse happened in 2008. Isn't this beautiful? Is this natural phenomenon beautiful? Is it beautiful? Yes, I believe most of you agree that it's beautiful, but some people don't think so. They think it's bad omen. It's a bad sign. Probably it's going to be the end of the world. Do you agree with them? Then how would you explain to them that it's not? How would you defend yourself? Defend your opinion? Is science far away from us? Is science far away from us? Of course, no. Then. Is science itself a potential for good or evil? Potential for good or evil is really hard to say. We are going to explore. Then, what attitude should we adopt towards science? We need to think about this. Professor Hawking thinks it's important. To keep everybody in touch, what science is about. In this article, he explains why. The article is text A: Public attitudes toward science. The class is divided into three parts: pre-reading task, while reading task, and after reading task. Warm-up activities. We are going to play a game. The science game. The name of the game is "Who Wants to Travel to the Outer Space." Do you feel like traveling to the outer space? Have you seen the movie Avatar? What about I offer you a virtual trip to Avatar, but you have to work your way to a dream. To test is a game to test knowledge of math and science as you work your way to a dream. Before the game started, certain rules should be introduced. There will be eight questions. Each question will have four choices marked A, B, C, and D. Remember, you have three helpers if you are not sure about the question. But have to also remind you, each helper can be used only once. Are you clear? Are you clear? Good. Ready? Are you ready? Okay. Let's start. The first question. Is astronomy question? What planet is this? A. Mars. B. Mercury. C. Earth. D. Venus. So you're going to choose C, right? Are you sure? Are you sure? Okay. Let's see if you have the right answer. We have a nice beginning. Let's move on to second question. The question is getting more difficult. Okay. Pay attention. It's a math question. On the graph below, which point is located at minus four two? Minus four two. Point D A E H minus four two. Which one? Okay. Let's see the choices. A D B E C A D H. Which one will you have? Are you sure? Yes. Let's see. Well done. Move on to a third question. It's also an astronomy question. What is at the center of our solar system? 
A, the earth, B, the moon, C, the sun, D, Beijing. Which one? C, not the earth, not the moon. Okay, let's see if we have the right answer. Congratulations. Impressive. Move on to the fourth question. It's a physics question. Okay. What unit could you use to measure the length, the length of an object? A, centimeter, B, gallon, C, kilograms, D, seconds. Which one would you have? C, A. Seems that we have different opinions. Would you like to try, a, try one of those helpers? OK, how many of you will have the answer A? How many of you will have the answer C? So your final answer would be A. Impressive. The fifth question is a geology question. The center of the Earth is also known as the A point, B core, C hole, D ball. Which one will you have? Boy, core. OK. Wu Zhu Jun, what's your answer? Boy. How many of you agree with them? Please raise your hand. Are you sure? Are you 100% sure? Yes? OK, let's see. Wonderful. The right answer is B. We are doing a good job. You're on the right track. The sixth question is an astronomy question. In the northern hemisphere, the sun rises in. I'll give you a little hint. China is located in the northern hemisphere. So the sun rises in the south, west. Which, which answer will you have? A, B, C, D. Dark, OK. Of course, the sun rises in the east, OK? The seventh question is a math question. What number comes next? Minus 1, 2, minus 4, 8, to minus 16, 32. What's the last number? A? OK. We haven't, used none of, we haven't used any of those helpers. But I guarantee you, the last question is really difficult. You need to think. Fantastic. We are moving towards success. It's astronomy question. In Albert Einstein's famous formula, E equals mc squared, what does the letter C represent? A, Celsius. B, the speed of light. C, the force of gravity. D, the size of an atom. I challenge you on this one. Which one will you have? How many of you will have the right answer? OK. You want to try one of those helpers? Some of you have B. What about the what about what about the rest of the class? Okay. If you have the right, if you have the answer A, please raise your hand. Let me see. No. B. B. C. Okay. If you're not sure about the answer, I suggest you to use one of those helpers. Okay. You want to make a poll, or you want to ask an expert, or you want 50/50. If you choose 50/50, two wrong answers will be taken out. 50-50, OK. B and D, which one we have? We have some helpers outside the classroom. Thank you. So we have B or D. Are you sure? This one last step, OK. Let's see. Ta-da. It's the right answer. Congratulations. Give applause, OK. To yourself. We earn a trip to the planet Pandora, where Avatar lives, OK? Is the game fun? Let's continue to learn more. Background information. Have you ever heard of Stephen Hawking? Yes? Then do you know about black holes? Let's watch a one-minute video clip of Stephen Hawking. In 1980, 
1988, I wrote a popular science book called A Brief History of Time, which sold over 10 million copies. I say that not to brag, but to underline the deep fascination we all have with our universe. Twenty years ago, people rushed to buy physicist Stephen Hawking's book. The public were drawn to Hawking, because he's a mega brain trapped in a body that doesn't work. He said he would tell us how the universe worked, and how it began. But Hawking is now almost completely paralyzed. These programs are a journey into the mind of Stephen Hawking and his lifelong quest for a theory of everything. Okay, so it's a video clip of Stephen Hawking. If you're interested in him, I suggest, I suggest you to find more information about him online, okay? Stephen Hawking, two pictures about him. I believe most of you have seen pictures either on TV, see this picture either on TV or on internet. This introduction is, uh, is taken from Encyclopedia. I would like some of you to read this aloud to the class, okay? Any volunteers? This young gentleman, may I have your name? May I have your name? Uh, uh, he Jie. Okay, can you read this, uh, this uh, aloud he, to the class? He is a good... Uh, he is a world-renowned British uh, theoretical, theoretical physi right. physicist. He is known for his contributions to the fields of cosmo cosmology, co cosmology especially in the context of black holes, uh, holes. He has also achieved success with works of popular science, including the best seller, A Brief History of Time. Right. The book, A Brief History of Time, was just shown um, in the video clip. See, uh, you have two words that you might need some help. Can you read after me, okay? Theoretical. 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 Everybody together. Theoretical. 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 Okay, the next one, only you, for you. Cosmology. 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 Everybody together. Cosmology. 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 Good job. Here, theoretic comes from word theory, and cosmology is the science about the origin of our universe. Okay. A black hole. What is that black hole? What is a black hole? Wu Zhujun. What's your definition of black hole? Can you tell us? Hold on, I'll give you the microphone. Is black hole a hole that is black? Um, it's a hole, I think. Um, it's black, right? <sighs> Any hole that is black, we say that's a black hole. Okay, uh, who wants to try? I would like to know you. This young gentleman, may I have your name? Uh, Feng Sitong. Feng Sitong, right. Can you give us your definition of black hole? Uh, I think it's, uh, it's uh, something can absorb uh, er everything. Something can absorb everything, uh, like a magic box. Uh, something like that. Okay. You might get 50% definition right. Thank you. Let's see the definition of black hole. A black hole is a region of space so it does not exist on Earth which nothing, including light, can escape. For example, if I throw, if I throw uh, Zhou Tianle, where's Zhou Tianle? If I throw this young gentleman, Zhou Tianle, into a black hole, will she, be able to come will she be able to come back? Will she be able to come back? I don't think so, maybe. You're not Superman, even a Superman, you cannot come back, okay? That is a forever goodbye, okay? This is a picture of black hole. Now let's move on to wire reading tasks. Text organization is reading time. The text, the article you're having on handouts, the article you're having on handouts can be divided into three parts. And the last, uh, the, 
main idea of the last part has already been given out. Okay, I'll give you one. I'll give five minutes to read to skim the text and find out the main ideas of part one and part two. Okay, let's get started. Okay, time is up. Sometimes five minutes is too fast. I know. Okay, I'll give some hint. This sentence is one of the main ideas. Either it belong to part one or belong to part two. To make informed decisions about change, the public needs a basic understanding of science. Which part do you think it should belong to? Part one or part two? Feng Sichuan. Hold on, I'll give the microphone. I think it's part one. Part one. Do you agree with him? Okay, let's see if you have the right answer. Congratulations. And of course, this sentence coming next will belong to part two. Let's see what can be done to educate the public to understand science. Okay. Want to have more challenges? Yes. Okay. Let's see. I'll give you two more sentences. The teaching of science in school is an important way. Mass media, especially the television, is another crucial way. Which part above should these two points belong to? Part one or two? Let's see. Part one: to make informed decisions about change, the public needs a basic understanding of science. Yes or no? Yes or no? Okay. Let's move on to part two. What can be done to educate the public to understand science? Yes or no? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. So these two points should belong to part two. To give solutions, what can be done to educate public to understand science? Okay. Do you know the general elements of an exposition? The general elements of exp of an exposition should be made up the general idea, supporting details, and the conclusion. Of course, the central idea should be should be the most important part. What part do the following sentences play separately in this article? To make decisions about change, the public needs a basic understanding of science. Is it the central idea? Is it supporting detail or the conclusion? Which one? The first sentence should belong to the central idea. Yes, I see this lady thinking, and. The second part: What can be done to educate the public to understand? Should belong to supporting details, and the last part should be the conclusion. And in supporting details, solutions are given. Solutions are given. The solar system have a center? Yes or no? Yes. If yes, what is it? The sun. Okay. I'll give you two pictures to see. This is our solar system. That is the sun. Okay. This picture is much more clear than that one. It's the same with our writing. When we're writing an exposition, we should have a central idea. This is the center of the writing solar system. It goes like this: If this central idea, then supporting details should revolve around the central idea, which means it should be really close to the central idea. Then you have a conclusion. In this text, the structure is well presented. First one, central idea: What can be done to educate public understand science? Then, with informed public, human civilization will survive. Okay. In this way, you are able to write a well-organized article with ideas clearly expressed. The last part: operating tasks, homework assignment. You are going to write an essay on how science changed our lives. Remember, the scientific and technological discoveries have changed our life, or will change our life. In what ways do those discoveries change our life for the better? In what ways do those discoveries change our life for the worse? The same discovery can bring both good things and bad things to our life. But I want you to understand, science itself is neither a potential for good nor a potential for evil. It is controlled, harnessed by human to take his bidding. I want you to find your central idea, your supporting details, and your conclusion. Thank you.